Hello B Business B fans and welcome to today's vlog where today I'm going to look at the topic of imports and exports. Now we need to start this vlog by understanding what is an import and what is an export. Now the first thing to tell you is let's look at imports. Imports is when you buy a product or a service from another economy and you bring it into yours. So for example imagine buying a car from Germany. If you want to buy the car from Germany you need to convert your pounds into euros so you have to exchange a currency and then you purchase it, you get the car, they get our money. So that's money going out of our economy. So that's what happens when you import, you're taking money out of your economy. If you look on the opposite side of that, an export is when you actually sell a product or a service to another economy. So for example, if we sold that car to Germany, they would have to convert their euros into pounds, and then they'd buy that car, we would send them the car, and they would give us the money. And what you get there is money coming into your economy. So the general rule in economics is that imports are bad because they take wealth out of your economy, but exports are seen as good because they bring wealth into your economy. Of course, it's a bit more complex than that because imports can mean that you can get access to products and services cheaper. So for example, we import a lot of products from China because they're manufactured cheaper and we benefit because our wealth goes further. But because of that topic of Brexit we keep hearing lots about, I thought it's a great topic to have a look at this. And what I've done over on the board today, and I've brought this over here for you on the board, and I'm coming over now to my trusty board to show you. What we've got here is, on this little graph here, which I'm showing you here, so I'm going to come around here, and I think I've got the wrong angle on my gimbal here, so I'm going to have to try and move my gimbal to get so you can see. So there we go. And on this little diagram here, we've got the imports of the UK, and as you see there, 590.5 billion pounds of imports. And in the EU, so for the EU imports that we've got there, what we're left with is 318 billion, and the rest of the world, 243 billion. So that does actually sort of prove the argument that you probably have heard mentioned about why the EU needs us more than we need them, in that sense that we are quite a big customer to them. Whether that's so true is another question, but we are a big customer and the stats don't lie. That comes from what's called the pink book, which the Office of National Statistics produce. Now, on the opposite side, let's come down here. So I'm going to come down and have a look at this diagram here. Exports, 547.5 billion pounds. And with the rest of the world, we exported, right, 284.1 billion pounds. And that was to the rest of the world. To the EU, we did 235 0.8 billion, so you can see there. Now, that sort of suggests that the rest of the world is actually our bigger export partner. So we're selling more to the rest of the world than we're selling to the EU. And we're actually buying more from the EU than we actually sell to them. So potentially, yeah, they do maybe need us more, but that's another argument, and that's just one of the arguments that goes in there. But this is where it ties in with a bit of economics now. So let's come and look at this bit here. It's something called a trade deficit. And that's the difference between your imports and your exports. So if you look at this figure here, we obviously import 590.5 billion and we export 547.5 billion. And that gives us a deficit of 43 billion pounds. That means there's 43 billion pounds going out of our economy instead of coming into our economy. Remember what I said, if you've got more imports and exports, potentially you're making your economy smaller. But then let's start thinking about this in an interesting point of view. Who are the customers? Where are we buying from? And for example, who's buying from us? So I thought let's go and delve into the stats again. Now these stats are the most recent stats we've got and the most accurate stats. I'm going to come this side now. So there we go. I'll come around here for you. So I'm going to look at this one here. Who do we buy from? So as you can see there, Germany. We buy most of our products from Germany. 75.1 billion in fact from Germany. The USA is second with 66.3 billion. Then you've got the Netherlands with 42.4 billion. And then you've got China with 42.3 billion. And you've got France, lastly, in fifth place with 37.6 billion. If you look at that list, it's EU country in first, EU country in third, and an EU country in fifth. So we're buying quite a lot from some of those countries. So I suppose when you're talking about Brexit and then you've heard all the arguments going on about it, there may be some truth in the fact that Germany, Netherlands and France have got a lot to lose if we were to leave without a deal or just giving up on all our trade. But that is debatable, isn't it? But it is one of those factors you might want to consider. But then, let's have a look who we actually sell to. Who are the customers buying from us? Who are the countries and how much? So I'll come down here. So, on my diagram down here, I've got obviously the USA in first place, 99.6 billion pounds. They are our biggest customer. So then USA, our biggest customer, followed by Germany, 49.1 billion pounds. 
followed by the Netherlands, £31 billion. Ireland in fourth place with £26.7 billion. And then you've got the Gulf Arabian countries with £17.1 billion. And you've got China down here, obviously in sixth place. And I'll put six here because it's one of the fastest growing economies, £16.8 billion. They could soon move up. But of course, in the news, you probably heard the stories, China's economy is starting to slow down. It's estimated for a small 3% cut in the Chinese economy. It'll have a 0.5% effect on our economy. So they are becoming quite a powerful nation when it comes to the power of economics and sales. But what does all this mean? Well, it means that when we talk about economics and we think about who we buy from and who we trade with, it's never that simple because, again, down there, yes, we might trade with the USA, and that's our biggest customer, but there is also the number two, number three, number four, for example, there, Germany, Netherlands, Ireland, they're also potentially massive customers we sell to. We've got to factor that in. So when we are negotiating this Brexit stuff, and again, that's that word that everybody keeps hearing at the moment, that's why it's so complex to decide. There are probably are arguments why we could go on our own, because you've seen over here with the rest of the world, you know, there maybe is that option, but it's not as simple as that. And it all comes down to imports and exports. But the bigger problem in our economy at the moment is this thing here, this trade deficit, because at the moment we are actually importing more than we're exporting. And remember, when we're importing, we're not creating wealth in our economy. And that is exactly what today's B Business B vlog is all about. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully you have a better understanding of what I've just covered. And remember, until next time, keep buzzing.